All right, what's going on? Let's take a look at a related rate problem. It says a street light is mounted at the top of a 15 foot tall pole. A man six feet tall walks away from the pole with a speed of five feet per second along a straight path. How fast is the tip of his shadow moving when he is 40 feet from the pole? All right, so first thing, let's go ahead and draw a picture. All right, so we've got the, the street light right here, and it says it is uh, 15 feet tall. All right, and the man right here, this is the man, he's six foot tall, and the light shining, shining down, and it casts a shadow. All right, now it says that he's walking away from the pole with a speed of five feet per second along a straight path. And they want to know how fast is the tip of the shadow moving. So here's the tip of the shadow right here. We want to know how fast this is, this is moving. How fast is it changing? All right, so first thing we need to do is let's label. Let's label this thing. Well, we know this is a right angle. The distance from here to here, we'll call that X. You can call it whatever you want. And the distance from here to here, that would be Y. So this distance here, X, that's the distance the man is away from the, sh from the street light. And the distance from here, this Y distance, that's the length of the shadow. All right. So... How fast is the tip of his shadow moving? All right, so let's go ahead and write down what they're wanting us to find and the information that they give us. All right, so the information that they give us, they, they tell us that he's walking at five feet per second. So that's the change in X. That's how fast he's this distance here is changing. So we know that dx dt is equal to 5 feet per second. Now, what are they wanting us to find? Well, how fast is this point here changing? Okay. So we, we need to know how fast is this distance here changing? So we want to know how fast is the distance x plus y changing. That's what we're looking for. All right. So if you look at this, you can see the information that they give us. They give us the change in x. All right. That's, that's all they give us. And they want to know when he's 40 feet from the pole, how fast is, this, is the shadow changing? Well, look at this. If we take the derivative of x plus y, well, what would that be? That would be dx dt, because remember, we're taking the derivative with respect to t, plus dy dt. And that's fine and everything, but we don't know anything about dy dt. So what we're going to need to do is this x plus y here, we're going to need to get it all in terms of x. And then when we take the derivative, we'll have a dx dt, and we know what that is. All right, so let's go ahead and see what happens. Well, how can we do that? Well, I've got this triangle here okay this these are similar triangles see i've got a right triangle here and then i've got a smaller right triangle here all right so i know that 15 over 6 this side over this side is equal to all right so i did the big side here to this side is equal to 
this side, so this big side here, x plus y, over what? Over this side, y. See, I did the, I did this big triangle here, and then I did, and then I did this smaller triangle right here. So this side over this side is equal to the big side here over the smaller side. All right, so now all we need to do is solve this thing for y. So I can cross multiply. So I get 15y equals, and then when I do 6 times x plus y, that's going to be 6x plus 6y. Subtract the 6y to both sides, so I get 6x equals, and that's going to be 9y, and so y is equal to 2 thirds. All right, so now all, I'm sorry, 2 thirds x. So now all I have to do, I know what y is, so I can take this and plug it in there for y. All right, so let's, let's do that. All right, so I've got the, the derivative of x plus y with respect to t is equal to the derivative of x plus. Now, in the place of y, I'm going to put two-thirds x with respect to t. All right, so now... Let's combine these. So that's going to be the derivative of, and that's going to be uh, x plus 2 thirds x. That's going to be 5 thirds x with respect to t. All right. So now if I take the derivative, that's going to be what? 5 thirds, derivative of 5 thirds x is just 5 thirds times dx dt. And now all I have to do, well, the only thing I have here to plug in is dx dt. And I know what that is. That's five feet per second. So this, so that's going to give me five thirds times five, which is 25 over three. And that's feet per second. And that's how fast the tip of the shadow is uh, moving. All right, so I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.